Okay, so yesterday, Rain got her collar and the casing done. So today she's gonna start by attaching this collar to this piece of the casing on the neck. Hey, where is this coin so guy? Right? We don't have the coin guy anymore. Look like this. And then she's gonna close up the side so that it will get this really quick? have a side. I don't know where they are, babe. And then she'll close up the sleeve and make it's the really bottom kind of section. Really I don't know where they are. I just said that. Uh, okay. She'll make this section of the sleeve and then she'll attach that section to the section. She'll attach this section to this section. So she decided that she does want sleeves. We were going to make one a vest, but she changed her mind. She wants the sleeves again. Okay, so we're going to take this collar, you lay it out with the fabric side up, and then we're going to pin this piece. There's little notches right here, and there's one here, and then there's notches on the other piece too, so you know what you're measuring them up to. We'll pin it across here, and then we'll twist it and pin it down this side <laughs> as well, Yay! onto here. I'm not actually sure if you guys saw that. Okay, so it's all pinned on, mm -hmm. okay? So you're gonna put it in and you're gonna put your foot to where the edge of the foot mm -hmm. matches right on the line, okay? No, take out go the pins. You don't have to take out the pins, you shouldn't. Anyways, if you keep your foot straight, you should. it should be wide enough that you can go right past them. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna go forward and back, forward and back, okay? Then you're gonna go to the point. Listen, then you're gonna go to the point at the middle. Point. Okay, then you're going to turn. Hey, you're going to remember how I showed you leave the needle in the fabric, lift up the foot, and then just turn the fabric a little bit because it's going to come through this way and then turn it to, make, to where the line is straight again. Then you're going to go right down the middle of your neck, okay, and you're going to get to another point. And then, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus, for not knocking that over. Oh, that could have gone real bad. Mm. I bumped my elbow into my coffee. I could've just, it could have landed on me. Um, and this wire. Okay, so listen, when you come all the way down, mm -hmm. you'll get to this point. All right, pick then you're going to have to, yep, leave the needle in, pick the foot up. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to have to turn, okay, and you got to go down and you stop right here, okay? Forward and back. Forward and back, back, forward and back. Okay, make sure that as you're doing it, you pull everything underneath out of the way, okay? Okay. But, like I said, you start right here on this side, on. just the edge. Oh yeah, we stopped yesterday. Okay, so there you go. Put your foot down. There you go. Ready? Go ahead. My foot fell upside down. You should not have to take the pins out. But. Yeah, and I've learned that story. Four. No, no, too far, too far. You just want to be on the double pieces. Go forward. And that might be too, stop, stop. That might be too close to the edge. All right. No, it's right on, it's right on the purple thing. But look, you want the, the, you want, go backwards. Okay, go forward. Okay, stop. Okay, so you see how the fabric here, mm -hmm. you want to, as you go forward, go forward. As you go forward, you want to keep the fabric right on that line. Okay? Are you at the point? Yes. Keep your needle in. Try to do it with your foot. Just go slow. I'm going to bruise my kneecap here. I got to figure that out because that's starting to hurt. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it just won't work. Oh, I'm not at the point. Okay, so yep, go down. Look, 
I'm just gonna do this. Don't do it with your hand though, because when you do it with your hand, you need you have to use your foot. That's why your string gets. If you wanted the pedal, use the pedal. <clears throat> okay. No. Keep some of this up here. The heavier it is in your lap, the more it'll pull. So now turn it. Lay it down. Now your foot is straight. Okay. Now remember, keep your line of fabric right against this line of metal. Yeah. Keep your fingers out from underneath. Again. Honey, it's okay. Sometimes you just have to start and restart. Back. You don't have to be that close to the edge, I don't think. Make sure you... Yeah, see, you're way off. Remember, make sure your foot... Because it won't... It's, it will unfray. Come down. Go backwards. See how I'm keeping... Keep going. And go forward. See how I'm keeping the fabric right along the edge of the foot? That's what I want to follow. Right along. And then stop for a second. Stop for a second. Readjust your underneath fabric because as you move, everything moves. It Yes, everything moves as you move. Quick forward and back. You don't have to go real, real far. Get up and turn it. A bit of it's off the edge of the edge. Forward and back at the beginning and the end? Yeah. You got all the way around to both sides, everything that had chalk line? Yes. Okay, pull your pins out, stick them back into your thing, pick it up and make sure that all of it's connected across the line. I had them color, I color coded, color coded them for some reason. Okay. I wanted to keep them in color order. I do typically try to keep them in color coded order. Except for the one yellow and the one purple. There's only one yellow and one purple. For some reason. What? Let me see these for a second. Nothing on the back. Okay. Cut it all off. Yep, you should have four. You should have a start point and an end point on the front and on the back. Sure. There should be four loose strings that have to be cut every time. <laughs> Did you check the line? Is everything connected? Yes. Okay, so then you gotta move on to the next thing. Hey, so you need to move on to the next thing. You need to. <clears throat> Okay, so now you need to la lay it down. Lay it down. Are we you getting want to put the right sides together. Are we doing the sleeves? Uh, the sides and the sleeves, yes. Yep. You're going to take it, look, you're going to take it while it's inside out with the right sides together. Okay. Sorry. And you're going to line up these notches right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to pin down this line yep and remember that when you put it in look remember that when you put it in you're gonna the sewing machine is there so you want to put the pin in 
on the side in the direction that you're going to pull it right, that you're going to pull it out of. Okay? So. I used to pull them out this way, Mom. Okay, so look. This is what you need to put a line on. Hold, yep, hold it flat. Bring your pins all the way up. Make sure they go all the way down through the, both fabrics. Move your finger for a second. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to forward and back down here. Hold that still. Put your hand right there and hold that still. And then... Okay, pin it all the way up that line and make sure they're together and nice and flat and then you'll stitch that side together. She already did it. Okay, so she put this side together. <laughs> so now one side of her jacket is closed. And then we, we just, just pinned the yep, and then we just pinned and marked this one for her. So she's gonna stitch up that other line. So I said that. Start right there. I'm gonna start a little bit. Not starting where it's not a. It's a little bit like off the purple line, where it's not on the exact purple mark. I start like at the very edge. Forward. And backward. And forward. Yeah, the forward and the forward and back part always goes zigzag on, on my sewing machine. See, zigzag, zigzag. Hang on. I stayed on the purple line. Good job, sweetie. You're doing great. Yeah. All right, trim all your stuff. Make sure you keep your tails. Don't have too much tension. And then check the line. Make sure that, that it's all connected. That one. And you can remove your pins. I usually cut a little bit of the string off because I don't really need any of string because they go forward and back on it. Because we go forward and back on it, Mom, remember? Mm -hmm. So. I'm set them down on the table really quick. Because I have green balls, Mom, remember? Little circles. Mm -hmm. It helps us see where they are. So we see a little color. Huh? I listen to music, so... Get out, don't listen to music to my room. Well, I can't listen to it around, there's no book books. The music will just fly out and... No, children, don't listen to music. What can I do? It's 10 o'clock in the morning, if you can't have a TV on, it makes too much noise. Play. Watch it silently and read the subtitles. Oh, yeah. Subtitles give away the picture, and they're not always on point. <sighs> Oh yeah, they do always say it. There's always like a sentence behind. That's the funnest part of subtitles. <laughs> Reading is the funnest part of subtitles, Mom. Reading. Reading it wrong. It says I have to do plenty of that in my game. I have to read each subtitle because I can't actually hear what they're saying. It's just too much clicks. So I just turn the volume all the way off whenever it's doing that. I know this 
these are dice came off. Then all the zip ties came off. Well, you know, the zip ties don't always work. I mean, if we had glued it on them, it would probably stay. Gosh, I'm pretty sure you put this on backwards. Yeah. But hooray! I'm gonna try it on really quick. <laughs> While you're trying it on, check all your lines and make sure that. Oh, no. Yep, and make sure that nothing is. They still need to out. Got a hole in it. Nothing, that nothing has a hole in it. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this hand off, so I'm worried. I'm checking it by putting my hands all around and make sure there's no holes in it. I don't feel any holes. Okay. Radio. Well, leave a pause on the part. Um, I mean, you can, yeah. I will be right back. Okay, you can leave that paused for a minute. Okay. Let's finish.